Hey everyone, it's Dr. Dickinson. So I'm going to be talking about open-ended tasks today. And an open-ended task in mathematics is a task that has no one solution. Um, it's open-ended so that the students can build on what they already know, where they feel confidence, and demonstrate to you their understanding. So we'll take a look at uh, what that might look like for your learners in your grade in a moment. But I just want to clarify that when you are thinking about open-ended tasks, you want to make sure that your task is supporting all of your learners. So your students that are second language learners, students working below grade level, as well as students that are ready for more challenge. Um, these types of tasks will give you as the teacher an opportunity to make math culturally relevant and highly contextualized in their lives. It is also, as I shared, a powerful assessment tool that can show you what your students, where they are, what your students know, and where they need to grow. So in the next video clip, we'll be looking at an open-ended task that I created using Google Jamboard. And I was able to get an open-ended task from Open Middle. I took a photo, I copied it, I added it to the Jamboard, and then what I did was I used the sticky note features on Jamboard to make digit cards. I made a copy of each Jamboard for my students so that they were able to work independently and they were able to drag the sticky note cards, the digit cards, onto the problem to show me what they know about adding two digit numbers. So you're about to watch the clip and you'll be able to hear how students are using Math Talk to explain their thinking, which is a wonderful, rich assessment tool for distance learning. Someone had to make a two digit equation using our number cards. Cullen, tell us what you did here, and then we'll have two other people share. Go ahead, Cullen. What I did was I did. I know that 50 plus 50 equals 100 off the bat easily, and then 6 plus 3 plus 3 equals 6. So that then I combined those two numbers, and I got that answer. Very good. Everyone, give me a thumbs up if you agree that 53 plus 53 is 106. All right. Okay, Kat, can you tell us what you did? Yes. On this slide? Yes. 100, so I did 100 plus 53 equals 153. Excellent. So you actually used a three-digit number that has ones, tens, and hundreds. Excellent work. Thumbs up if you agree. All right. And our last one today, Miriam, can you tell us what you did with our number cards, digit cards? Um, well, what was I know that three zeros is nine. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Dickinson. So I just want to share how I create a Jamboard for my students for math using the website Open Middle. So here's a problem. Let's say I want to do this problem subtracting decimals to get close to zero. This would be a great one for fifth grade. I'm going to just take a screenshot of this particular problem here. Now this photo I can use for my Jamboard. I'm going to go back to Google Jamboard click on the plus sign, it's going to start a new jam for me. All right, now that I've done that, I have my new jam, call it fifth grade math, and then just press OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the image that I just took. I can do that with the jam board. I just click on add image and then select the file from my device. Here it is, it's the screenshot. Now it will appear in my Jamboard. I can stretch it out if I want it to be bigger. And then what I'm doing here is making it visible for my students. What I did previously in the video that you saw was I used the sticky note feature so that all my students have to do is drag the numbers onto these little cards here. 
So as you can see, I have the number one. I'm gonna shrink it down to size so it'll fit nicely. And then I'll just duplicate this. Usually make about five of these cards for each number. And then I'll do it again for each digit. So I'll do zero through nine using the sticky notes. Feel free to you know pick different colors if you want for each card, you could do that. Okay, and again, resize, make sure it fits. And then I just duplicate. Now, if I, as I showed in the video, I wanted each of my students to work independently and then give them an opportunity to explain, you could certainly have kids work with partners. One of the nice features about using Jamboard um, as opposed to using something else like Padlet is that I can simply duplicate this slide. So now I could create several slides for my students to work on, either again, independently in a small group, in, a pair, in pairs. And then if I wanna already have this ready to go for my kiddos, I might just add their names at the top. Let's say I wanna have them working in partners and I don't want them to just randomly pick which, um, which slide they're on, I'll say, hey, boys and girls, so you're gonna work with a partner. I want you to find your slide, your Jamboard slide on each of the slide decks. And then you'll be working with your partner to drag the digit cards in and create um, a subtracting decimals that get close to zero. So that's pretty much how I use Google Jamboard using open middle, sticky notes, to make an open-ended task for my students. And we do this during our synchronous live discussion. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. <laughs>